What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here that I'm boxing for you that I'm really excited about. This is the just updated 13 inch MacBook Pros. This is the models that were just given the newest Intel Core i5 and Core i7 chips as well as Intel's Light Peak technology which Apple has dubbed Thunderbolt. We'll talk a bit more about that as we go along. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up. So the box is very familiar to previous generation's MacBook Pros. In fact, it looks almost identical to previous generation MacBook Pros, save for some port differences. So we've got a picture of the device right on the front. And again, this is the 13.3 inch model. Got some Apple logos on the side. Got some differences right here, letting you know that it's a Core i5 chip, which is actually now the entry level. Uh, this is the entry level computer, which is gonna cost you just shy of $1,200. Uh, the Thunderbolt High Speed I.O., and that stands for Input Output. And again, there is a picture of the device. We've got some specs on top. Let me just run you through very quickly here. Uh, this is a 2.3 dual core Intel Core i5 model. You can also get the Core i7 with three megabytes of shared level two cache. You've got four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. This particular one has a 320 gigabyte hard drive that spins at 5400 RPM, so it's not solid state. Again, 3.3 inch diagonal display. All the sizes are always measured diagonal with a resolution of 1280 by 800. Uh, Apple has now ditched uh, Nvidia and gone back to Intel. This has the integrated 3000 uh, processor with 384 megabytes of DDR3 SD RAM shared with main memory. And you now have a built-in FaceTime HD camera. Certainly if there was a FaceTime camera built in, but now it's all HD and fancy, which is gonna give you about three times the resolution. So enough of me yammering about it. Let's go ahead and use the unnecessary and obligatory big old knife to cut the tape. And we'll have this kicking around for a few weeks here. So I'm really excited to put it through its paces and see if it lives up to the hype. All right, go ahead and push that on its side, open it up. And we've got the very familiar Apple packaging, a little bit of cushion on top. Here is the MacBook Pro. And pull that off. Feels almost identical to the previous generation models. We'll push it off to the side for just a minute and we'll keep digging in and see what we're gonna have in the box. You've got your MagSafe power adapter. You've got an extension cord right here for it. This part actually pops right off and you can slide this in and you can extend it just a little bit. Uh, interestingly enough though, the extension part of the MagSafe adapter is only one that's got the third uh, grounding prong right there. The standard one that you just plug into the wall does not. There's something to keep in mind. We've got all of your backup and restore discs, the uh, everything Mac and everything else stuff in here as well as a cleaning cloth, I assume. It's all probably pretty standard fare. Everything Mac, everything else, and a cleaning cloth. I don't, however, see any Apple stickers in here, which is unfortunate. Nope, no stickers. All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and push the box off to the side and let's take a look at the computer because there are a lot of subtle differences here uh, with this guy. Let's go ahead and pull off the plastic. This is always kind of fun. Break that seal. Slide this thing off. There we go. And here is the 13.3 inch MacBook Pro. Let's go ahead and first run through the ports because this is where a lot of the differences are. All right, so of course we're gonna have the MagSafe port. We're gonna have a gigabit ethernet port, just your standard pretty much ethernet now. Uh, followed by that, you're gonna have a FireWire 800, which used to be, uh, at least on Apple products, the highest speed uh, input output that they had, which is capable of 800 megabits per second. And remember that, it's called FireWire 800, 800 megabits per second, so keep that in mind. Looking over next to it now, that's the new port. You can see that little symbol there. That is Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt is essentially Intel's implementation of light peak technology. And that's gonna give you transfer rates of up to 10 gigabytes per second. So that is incredibly fast. Uh, the thing we're gonna to have to worry about right now though are devices that are going to support it, which is uh, kind of the problem. It's a device does a lot of stuff, but if there's nothing that supports it, it's going to be a problem. Uh, so the Thunderbolt port also does a few other things in addition to the high speed uh, input output. Uh, it's also gonna function as your native mini display port. Uh, you can also use it for DVI output using mini display port to DVI, VGA out, dual link DVI, and actually now HDMI audio and video output uh, using a third party mini display port HDMI adapter. So you do sort of have HDMI, though Apple didn't actually put it in. 
two USB 2.0 ports. And speaking of those speeds, it's gonna give you 480 megabits per second when you do your transfer rates. You've got an SD card slot, a headphone in, there's your battery indicator, little dealy. On the other side, you've got your super drive, which is for making DVDs and all that business. Uh, on the back, the battery is now completely sealed in, and it's gonna give you about 64 watt hours, uh, which is going to translate to about seven hours of battery life, uh, allegedly, which is kinda nice. Open it up, it's gonna look exactly like every other Mac laptop you've probably seen at all the coffee shops. MacBook Pro, it's got the full glass enclosure there, it's got the black mat, and the FaceTime camera, which looks exactly the same, you can see me there, uh, is FaceTime HD. So let's talk a bit more about what we got going on here. Uh, the resolution of this 13.3 inch model is going to be 1280 by 800. That's an 800 resolution. It can support uh, a little bit lower as we go. Uh, you can spec this thing to have all kinds of cool stuff. You can give it a, uh, an SSD if you want. Uh, again, this is the entry model, which comes with the 320 gigabyte hard drive. You've got the solid glass trackpad here, no more buttons, it's just push down. Uh, we've seen this on previous generation Mac laptops. Let's go ahead and close this thing up. Uh, this has been an unboxing of the new 13.3 inch MacBook Pros. I'm really excited to give this guy a thorough test, see how it handles video, see how it handles audio, and see how it handles video, uh, editing, and the rest of the things that we geeks like to see. So anything in particular that you guys want to see covered on this new MacBook Pro, let me know. Again, we'll have it for a few weeks, and of course, we'll give you a full review. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.